Welcome to this lesson on Xilinx 7.1i. In this lesson you will learn how to use the basic tools to create a simple circuit. Select file, then new project. In the new project wizard dialog box, enter the project name. Under top level module type, select schematic. You can browse to the desired directory using the browse button next to the project location field. Now click next. In the new project wizard device and design flow dialog box, use the pull down arrow to select the value for each property name. If you do not know what values to enter, examine the area bounded in red. Click next three times, then click finish. Right click anywhere in the sources and project window and select new source. Select schematic and give the file a name. Click next then finish. For this demonstration a full adder circuit will be built. Pause the video to take note of the circuit. Enter the name of the required logic gate in the symbol name filter on the left side of the screen. Click on the required gate above symbol name filter, then click on the right side of the screen to place the logic gate. Repeat the process for the rest of the logic gates. To change the mouse cursor to an arrow again, click on the arrow icon on the top left of the screen, or press escape key. To zoom into the schematic, click on the zoom icon. Press the escape key. Click on each logic gate and drag it to the desired location. Click on the add wire icon, this will allow you to connect the components together. Click on the lead of one gate then on the lead of the next and a wire will be drawn that connects the two together.
I.O. markers are needed to help Xilinx determine where the input's outputs are when it converts this schematic into a macro. Click the I.O. marker icon and place markers on each input and output by clicking on the terminal that you wish to place the marker. Press Escape key. Right click on a port and select Rename Port, then give it a name. Click OK. You can also double click on a port and give it a name. Select the schematic on the left side of the screen, then double-click Synthesize in the Process View window. Click Yes to save the file. The synthesis process will begin and will be completed when there is a green check mark next to where you double clicked Synthesize. That concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching.